For those of you who have joined us, we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome to the Rescale and EDEM webinar, Running EDEM in the Cloud with Rescale. I'm Sarah Dietz, the Business Development Manager at Rescale, and joining me for this webinar is Moyanto Port, our VP of Engineering, and Stephen Cole, the Engineering Manager at EDEM. We're about to get started, a couple housekeeping items first. We'll be recording and distributing this webinar later this week. If you have any questions during the webinar, make sure to type them into the question section in the GoToWebinar panel, and we can answer these later. Here's our agenda for today. I'll be doing a quick overview of the Rescale platform and the EDEM Rescale partnership. I'll then be passing this over to Stephen, who will introduce EDEM and talk about the software and how to set up a model locally to run on Rescale's platform. Moyanto will then take over and go through a live demonstration showing how to set up, run, monitor, and post-process your EDEM simulations on the Rescale platform. We'll finish with some time for questions. So let's get started. What Rescale provides is a comprehensive cloud HPC platform for running simulations. There are several key components to our platform. The first is an easy to use intuitive interface that allows engineers and scientists to set up and execute different types of simulations using a straightforward workflow. The next piece is software. We support a wide range of different software packages that are pre-installed and tested, so our users have one unified platform through which they can execute all of their simulation work. The next distinguishing feature of the platform is in regard to hardware. Rescale is a multi-cloud solution. So we partner with different infrastructure providers globally with over 36 data centers, allowing our users to leverage a wide range of different types of hardware, including InfiniBand and GPUs. Moyanto will demonstrate how users can seamlessly submit their simulations on the platform. As you'll see, users can monitor their jobs in real time and can do pre and post processing directly on the platform with our desktops feature. Security is paramount at Rescale, and we have various security features built into the platform, which I'll touch on in a bit. We also have an administration portal that adds yet another layer of security to the platform, allowing IT and management to manage and monitor usage, set additional budgets, permissions, and controls for users within their company. The platform also has the ability to integrate with existing on-premise hardware, so IT and management can have transparency and control over all resources being utilized by their company. As I mentioned, Rescale is a multi-cloud environment, and these ranging partnerships enable us to offer a wide selection of different hardware configurations to our users. In addition to 36 global data centers, we also have five distinct sites. We have two platforms in the US, one of these being for ITAR controlled work only. We also have dedicated platforms in Europe, Japan, and Korea. These dedicated platforms are for users requiring that their data remain within one region. As I mentioned before, security is our top priority. We go to great lengths and have many measures in place to ensure that the platform is secure and that our users' information is protected at every step. We go through lengthy and in-depth processes, including annual audits, to meet strict security compliance and regulation requirements. One of the security measures we put in place is encryption. Rescale users' data is encrypted both in transit and at rest. And when simulations are running, they're being run on isolated encrypted clusters. We're also happy to schedule more in-depth security reviews with anyone interested in having a more detailed discussion around this. The Rescale customer base is wide reaching and our platform is deployed across a range of different industries, including automotive, aerospace, oil and gas, life science, and academic institutions. The type of analyses being done ranges across these industries as well. For example, with our automotive customers, we see a lot of crash and CFD. With aerospace, we also see dynamics and stochastic studies. And with oil and gas, we see reservoir simulation as well. We're very happy to have partnered with EDEM this year. This partnership enables both existing and new EDEM customers to purchase on-demand EDEM licensing directly on the Rescale platform to instantly scale out their work. As Moyanto will demonstrate shortly, in addition to our straightforward workflow to kick off your jobs, we also have our desktops feature available for pre and post processing that allows users to open up a remote desktop to visualize their results directly on the platform. Finally, should you run into any issues while working on the platform, we have a strong support team of CAE and cloud experts who are available to chat live on the platform and can help with any issues that you may have. I'm now going to be passing this over to Stephen. 
who will present on Edom software. Okay, thank you, Sarah. So I'm um, Stephen, the engineering manager here for EDEM, and I'll be presenting um, a little bit about EDEM the applications and uh, our software. So with regard to the content of our presentation today, we'll look at some of the applications of EDEM across um, some different industries. Then I'll introduce EDEM itself, the creator, the preprocessor, then the simulator and the analyst, which is our post-processor. And following this, I'll look at some of the extended capabilities available with EDEM. For example, our programming interface and our co-simulation with other CAE tools. And I'll give a short demonstration of the, the interface of EDEM following that. So bulk materials are found in almost every industry. For example, in mining, um, heavy equipment manufacturing, which includes construction and agricultural machinery. In process industries, this includes pharmaceuticals, chemicals, plastics, and food processing. Traditionally, the majority of bulk material handling and processing operations are empirically designed. Measurement and control um, of these designs is often quite difficult and quite costly. Typical bulk material problems faced include plugging and bridging of materials, sticking to equipment, abrasion and excessive wear, as well as breakage of the equipment or maybe even the materials themselves. All this would typically be leading to lower productivities. At EDEM, we are the market leaders in providing commercial discrete element modeling software to address challenges related to real-world bulk material behavior. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with DEM simulation, this is a method where bulk material behavior is recreated in a virtual environment by modeling hundreds of thousands or millions of individual material elements, which we tend to refer to as particles. Our EDEM software is an easy to use and powerful simulation package that provides engineers with the ability to recreate realistic material behaviors representing a wide range of materials. It provides the analysis tools required to solve complex problems in the design and optimization of bulk materials handling and processing equipment. EDEM itself is a powerful addition to any suite of CAE tools and by introducing EDEM simulation and analysis into their design workflow, companies can significantly reduce physical prototyping, uh, reduce testing costs, and increase the productivity and reliability of their equipment and their processes. I'll start off by showing a little bit about how EDEM works. Every bulk material has its own unique set of properties, such as its friction and its restitution. These properties are input into EDEM as, as part of the material model. As well as the material properties, we want to input the material shape and also the material size distribution. Selecting the appropriate physics model in terms of the contact model is an important aspect as well. Our solver computes the interactions between the elements, between the particles, and calculates the forces for all these contacts, resulting in a particular material behavior. For example, the physics model might be a cohesive physics model or a, um, a dry granular um, material physics model. It's also very important to understand the real material behavior. So you will also want to validate the model against some real experimental tests. All of these um, four key components provide a fit for purpose bulk material flow behavior. 
long range and global forces such as hydrodynamic, hydrodynamic forces, electrostatics, heat transfer and gravity can also all be included. I'd like to um, follow on with some of our key market areas. One of the main areas that we have is the heavy equipment design and manufacture area. Within these sectors we have a number of market leading clients who design agriculture, mining and construction machinery. In the mining and construction machinery industries we see our customers use our software to maximize product efficiency. Um, so it's from the design of some of the world's largest truck bodies and drag lines to um, mining equipment, for example, underground mining, as well as areas such as asphalt um, processing products. Here, EDEM is used extensively to reduce prototyping costs, shorten design cycles, and deliver optimum machine performance. For example, in the images here, on the left we can see a dragline bucket going through a particular material. We can investigate the forces and the loading of this bucket. In the middle we have a, another bucket and we maybe look at the mechanics and potentially even look at multi-physics and introduction of hydraulics and control systems. And on the right we have a, a, a truck body where we may be looking at the forces on the truck, the loading and the unloading efficiency. Other areas that we have include um, agriculture. Here EDEM is used on a daily basis to help understand how changes to design of equipment such as harvesters, seed spreaders and organic material transportation systems will impact on the performance. There are a wide range of applications both in the production design and R&D sectors. The images that we're showing have um, some flexible material, some uh, grains and stalks on a, a sieve. In the centre we could be looking at the, um, the transportation of grains in an auger system and on the right we have a full tractor body going over um, the ground material. So we're looking at the equipment interacting with the ground and the tool ground interactions as well. The mining and metals industry uh, is also another key area for us. The main application for EDEM is the design optimization of, of shoots and of transfer points. Using our unique EDEM simulation technology, engineers are able to gain a detailed understanding of the flow of ore and other bulk materials as it passes through all areas of a transfer shoot. EDEM enables both qualitative and quantitative analysis of the transfer shoot designs to explore different design scenarios and to verify performance. It provides engineers with the insight to make design decisions concerning a range of key areas. This would include the, the, the reduction of plugging and spillage in the transfer shoots, the identification of excessive material velocities and dispersed flow, ensuring the appropriate delivery of material onto conveyor belts and the optimization of wear protection. Within the slide here, the three images we show are all for transfer points. We have conveyor belts transferring material from the top belt to the, the base belt. And on the left, we have a, a system of a flop gate where the gate is diverting flow and we're looking at reducing the spillage between the two areas. On the two images on the right, we're looking at, again, transfer points between two conveyor belts, and we can see the material flow profiles and are able to optimize the wear protection, wear protection and um, verify the design is operating to the required standard. The mining and metals manufacturing side of things in metals manufacturing, this is quite similar. Um, the loading of a blast furnace and the processing and handling of materials allows EDAM to reduce prototyping risk. In addition though, within metals manufacturing, 
EDAM's extensive multi-physics and customization options also allow research into the chemical reactions within a blast furnace. In the images on the left, we're seeing material being loaded into the top of a furnace uh, via a rotating chute, and different layers of material are colored um, different colors going from the dark to the light colors. We can also see the material flow profiles as it's entering the, the furnace itself. On the right, it would be uh, processing um, of the materials prior to the furnace itself. So we have transfer points and um, loading of hoppers. EDEM is also been used by top tier process manufacturing companies to optimize the performance of bulk solids handling and processing equipment, improving unit performance, controlling product consistency and quality, and also driving both product and process innovation. Examples of this industry would, all, would include the pharmaceutical, uh, the chemical, and the food processing industries. Mixing and the blending of materials is often investigated in batch and in continuous systems. EDEM can also be used for R&D into new material types and new processes. For example, on the left here, we're looking at creating of tablets using, um, using kind of plastic deformation of the material and cohesion. In the image in the middle, we looking at a batch process where we're mixing two different material types and can investigate the mixing efficiency and also the forces on the material during the mixing process. And in the top right there's more of a R&D application looking at adding in moisture content to the material and looking at how that moisture content is transferred between different materials during the process. As well as the applications of EDEM, I wanted to also look at the technology behind EDEM. We provide engineers with the capability to quickly and accurately simulate and analyze the behavior of their granular solid systems. The simulation workflow is similar to other CAE software, and EDEM provides an extensive set of tools for pre- and post-processing um, during simulation. EDEM solver engine is a fast and highly scalable um, engine. It runs on multi-core shared memory computers, typically 8 to 20 cores or whatever is um, kind of commercially available. EDEM is highly customizable and extensible using its applications programming interface. The applications programming interface and the coupling interface um, are used in conjunction with the standard EDEM. And with the coupling interface particularly, it can be integrated with other CAE softwares for a wide range of multi-physics simulation involving particle and bulk particle materials. EDEM software is split into three main components, the creator, the simulator, and the analyst. The creator is where the parameters of the simulation are set up. This is done by defining the material and the equipment. The simulator is where we run our simulations. This includes setting up parameters such as the time step, um, the run time, and we can also define what type of data needs to be saved. And the analyst is where we, the results of the simulation are reviewed and investigated. So to give you an overview of EDEM, it's split into the three sections, the creator, the simulator, and the analyst. And the creator itself is split into four different sections. In the global section, this is where the material properties are defined, as well as the physics models, and any custom models that want to be integrated into the software. In the second tab, in the particles tab, this is where the shape and the size of the material is defined. We're showing on the screen a three-sphere particle prototype. 
and this is to add some shape to our simulation. In the third tab along the geometry tab, this is where we can set up our own um, equipment or more commonly we would import our equipment from a 3D CAD program and import that directly into the software. And finally, the factories tab is where the material is introduced to the simulation and we define the parameters such as its size distribution and the velocity of the material entering the simulation. The particles in EDEM represent the individual grains of a material and they can take any shape they do not deform though during the simulation, so the shape defined is the that will be consistent throughout. In order to ensure that the particles behavior is realistic, models which accurately reflect those of the system can be used. For example, if you consider the behavior of a snooker ball and a, a very rough stone or a rock, the behavior of the two would be very different. So making a simulation using only a single sphere, a perfect sphere will not necessarily give the desired results. To address this issue, multi-sphere particles come, are created. These spheres can be fitted to a CAD template um, as can be seen in these um, images. These are made to take the rough shape of an average particle into account as well as ensuring that the particles have the same behavior as the physical material. Some physical experiments can be carried out to verify that the particles have the same behavior as the bulk material itself. With regard to the equipment geometry, within the EDEM creator you can generate simple shapes such as cylinders and rectangles. For complex geometries such as the ones shown here, you can generate the equipment in your CAD program and import it into EDEM. The images shown here are from our commercial customers. First on the, the top we're looking at asphalt manufacture and here on the, the base we have a dragline bucket used in the mining industry. The different CAD file formats are shown here on the slides. Uh, primarily our customers will be using STEP or IGIS or STL um, by default. When the geometries are imported into EDEM, they're automatically meshed. Really all the user needs to do is import their design and assign the motion of their equipment as appropriate. Moving on from the creator to the simulator, this is where we run the simulation. This can be started or stopped at any time to modify the simulation settings. The simulator itself is a highly flexible DEM solver. EDEM takes advantage of the power of the latest graphics hardware, allowing us to visualize millions of particles in a smooth and responsive manner. The EDEM simulator is the most advanced DEM solver on the market and it provides customers with highly scalable simulation capability for conducting large scale data intensive DEM simulation of complex particle processes on compute-efficient multi-core um, systems. The simulations can be started or stopped at any time with the ability to rewind to previous time steps and adjust parameters mid-simulation as appropriate. Once we've set up and run our simulation we would want to move to the EDEM analyst. This is where the simulations are reviewed and investigated. Important um, tests can be performed to check certain features of the simulation. For example, checking that the belt is evenly loaded or seeing if segregation of the material is occurring. Measuring velocity profiles and determining material flow rates can also be investigated in the EDEM analyst. Once a simulation is complete, all the data is stored in the analyst. If you want to go back and review any time steps or produce a video, uh, the EDEM analyst will allow you to perform those actions.
This slide um, highlights a few of the other tools available for reviewing a simulation. It includes graphing tools. Uh, we can color our material by its properties, such as its force or its velocity. Bin groups refers to the option of just investigating a small area of the simulation. For example, the material velocity is in a section of a conveyor belt or across the width of a conveyor belt to determine the difference in flow profiles. Data can also be exported from the simulation in a number of different formats um, for further analysis. And different display options can be set as well as creating videos from the simulation. One key advantage of the analyst is all the data is saved. So if you want to go back and create some additional videos or find some more additional information, you can just um, go to the analyst and export or review that um, data. The applications programming interface um, is something that we can set up and customize existing models with a wide range of physics um, for different material types. For instance, particle cohesions in bulk solids due to moisture or other attractive forces, deformation, fracture or breakup of solids, flexible fibers and modeling, um, for example, uh, example shown here on the bottom right involving flexible materials. You can also look at importing flow fields from other softwares and looking um, at the simulation of charged um, particles or potentially import a fluid field to look at the interactions with the fluid. As I mentioned, EDEM can be used as a standalone tool, but also can be coupled with other CAE tools, such as computational fluid dynamics, CFD, or multibody dynamics, and also finite element analysis. Bringing EDEM into play with other CAE tools adds critical insight for the engineer and improves the confidence in the design. We've been working with our technology partners, which are leading CAE software companies, to create and to enhance co-simulation solutions. I want to take this, this um, opportunity to highlight some key resources available um, at EDEM. The first of which is a generic EDEM material model database, the GEM database. This is a library of thousands of different materials representing soils and rocks and ores. To use this interface, um, you just have to log into the DM Solutions website and look at some of the key resources we have. You can then download your, um, your materials from the website and use it in a simulation. In addition, we have our e-learning portal. The e-learning portal enables you to um, run some of the EDEM tutorials and also we have a number of courses available. The courses are all available in short um, videos, typically two to five minute videos, highlighting each of the different capabilities and taking you step by step through the use of the software. The e-learning is free of charge, um, you just need to register, create an account to, to access the material. So that's the end of my slides. Um, what I'll do now is just take you very briefly through the EDEM simulation um, example that will be running on the, um, on the Rescale Cloud. So I've brought up my EDEM simulation. It's a simulation that's already been set up and run for um, six seconds worth of simulation time. As I showed in the slides, we have our creator, our simulator, and our analyst options. In the creator, we've set up a rock-like material, and we've set our dry granular material model for the physics. In our particles tab, we've defined a three-sphere particle 
it's relatively um, round material however it's not a perfect sphere it's a, a non-spherical material representing uh, a rock so we have this material as a particle prototype and we've defined its mass and its volume and its inertia predominantly the equipment geometries have been imported in this case from a, a CAD file so if we wanted to import one we'd go to the import option and we could choose our file um, and you can see the different file formats available but as I mentioned previously the IGS and the STEP and the STL file formats are most commonly used as they tend to work across many different platforms so once the geometry has been imported you can set the dynamics for example the conveyor belt speed or the rotational speed of the, the roller in this case in order to set up or to investigate different processing conditions the final aspect that we need to set up is the factory and this is where we introduce material to our simulation in this case the material has been introduced by a flat plate at the top of the conveyor belt and here we set the velocity of the material as well as the size distribution so once we've gone through the setup process defining our physics and our material imported our equipment and determined the method at which we input our material to our equipment we have to go to the EDEM simulator in the simulator there are a few settings to set for example the time step which typically would run at around 20 percent of the calculated rally time step we also want to know how long we're running our simulation for in this case it's been run for six seconds and we can change the, the run time um, to the desired um, time we can also determine how much data we want to save for example it's set up at the moment to save data every 0 0.1 seconds and then there's some additional settings for example the simulated grid and the number of processors to use I've chosen eight as I'm running on my laptop in this case um, with the eight available following this you can start the simulation running and we can see the material has been introduced at the top of the simulation the equipment motion has been defined so the the rollers are rotating or the conveyor belts are causing the material to move and then we could leave the, the simulation running and um, until we've reached the required time period I'll stop the simulation at that point and just jump to the EDEM analyst and this is where we can go backwards and forwards and look at the different um, flow profiles or maybe the forces on the material and the equipment the controls at the bottom left here allow me to jump backwards and forwards in time so for example if I went to the start of the simulation I could set the view that I want to see and then play through the analyst and this enables me to review the material flow over time I should say uh, if you're looking at this over the web you may not be able to get a, a smooth um, flow just due to the um, the time difference it takes to to show the um, to update the, the go to meeting there's a, a bin group shown in this case uh, which is the blue um, cylinder at the base of the model and this has been set up just to determine the to calculate the mass flow um, of the material through that particular area uh, as I mentioned there are a wide range of different analysis tools and options available to us um, if you want to learn more about that um, please review our e-learning material and I think at this point it's an appropriate time for me to pass you back to our colleagues at Rescale to look at running EDEM on the, the Rescale cloud Thank you, Stephen. I am going to make you the presenter now, Moyanta. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, Sarah. Um, so uh, when you want to uh, uh, start running a job on Rescale, uh, you, you have to go to platform.rescale.com if you want to use our global site. Um, we also have sites in Europe and Japan. Uh, in Europe, you would go to eu.rescale.com. Uh, and in Japan, you would go to platform.rescale.jp. Um, I'm going to log in to my to the global uh, platform. Um, so I'll log in with my email address. We support uh, single sign-on as well as uh, multi-factor authentication. Um, so I've set up uh, uh, multi-factor authentication for my account. So I'll have to uh, type in my MFA uh, pass here. Um, and so once I've done that, I get logged into Rescale. And this will bring me to uh, my uh, jobs list page, which gives an overview of all the jobs that I have uh, in my account. Uh, the first thing I will do is uh, show how to set up a uh, batch item job. Um, to do this, uh, we'll have to go to the new job setup here in the top left corner. And this will bring me to the job setup page. Uh, to set up a job, it's, it's really only three steps you have to take. Uh, the first one is to uh, upload your input files. The second is to configure your software and your licenses. And the last one is to uh, uh, select your hardware configuration. Uh, the first thing I'll do though is to give my job a name. Uh, and then I will go ahead and um, select the files that I want to use for this job. I can either select files that I've already uploaded uh, by clicking this use files from cloud storage, or I can directly upload files from my computer by selecting upload from this computer. Uh, I'm gonna just upload the job that um, uh, Stephen showed in, uh, in his presentation. It's a transfer, transfer shoot job. Uh, you can either upload a zipped archive or you can upload individual files. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to upload individual files. And so in the window here, it'll show you the progress of the upload. Since the files are very small, it, they upload very quickly. And then they will list it, they'll be listed here in this section down here. Uh, in the section, you can also edit uh, your files. So say you wanted to edit uh, a text file, you could also edit them right here. The next step is to select our software. So I can uh, search for Edom and select the software here. And this will bring me to the software setup page for Edom. Um, here I will have to specify the command to run Edom, and we have pre-populated the field uh, to simplify the uh, the uh, process of entering in your command. The, the only thing I have to enter in here is the input file. So the input file that we were using is transfer shoot.dem. And I will enter that into this placeholder here. We can also override some of the default settings. For example, we can change the runtime by entering some of the uh, uh, flags that uh, to control the item simulation. So you can uh, control the runtime using dash R. And in this case, we're going to run it six, six seconds. We can also control the time step. Uh, we're going to make it 120 microseconds, uh, as well as uh, 
the frequency of uh, files being written uh, or results being written to the to your output files and in this case we're going to write it out every 0.1 seconds <clears throat> uh, if you would like to run all the version of edem uh, you, you could select uh, different versions from the drop version drop down menu here uh, and this is basically all you would have to uh, set up to run uh, your software. Uh, the second thing you would have to set up on this page is your licensing. You could either uh, hook into your own license server by selecting the provide existing license option uh, and here you can uh, specify the location of your license server. Alternatively, you can buy uh, item on demand on Rescale and it will list the pricing right here. So now that we've set up our software and licensing, uh, we can go ahead and select the hardware. Uh, like um, Stephen mentioned before, uh, uh, EDM scales uh, over the multiple cores on the, on the machine. Uh, so you can select uh, multiple cores for hardware. In this case, I'm going to select uh, you know, eight cores. Um, once I've selected these eight cores, uh, on the right side, you can uh, see an overview of the hardware that you've selected. On Rescale, we've got different hardware configurations that you can select from as well. Uh, in this case, I selected our nickel uh, hardware configuration, uh, and it shows here the processor that it has, uh, which is an Ivy Bridge processor. We also have Onyx, which is a Haswell processor, uh, and several other core types. We also have specialty core types available if you need, say, extra memory or if you need uh, GPUs or, uh, or other specialty types of hardware. Uh, for this uh, demo, I will uh, just select a nickel core type and I will we'll run on eight cores. Uh, and so since we've uh, uploaded the input files, uh, configured our software and specified, specified our hardware configuration, uh, we are all ready to submit our job. So we can submit our job by clicking submit button here in the top right. Uh, and this will go ahead and submit the job. This brings us to the status page. Um, uh, and, uh, and here you can get the status of your job. So there's uh, a few states that your job can be in. First, we validate your input. Uh, this checks uh, whether uh, your job has been set up correctly, uh, whether, uh, whether you have any uh, budget available. So as a, as a uh, user, you can set up a budget uh, for your account to make sure you don't uh, spend more money than uh, you intend to. Uh, once your job has been validated, uh, it goes uh, to the starting cluster uh, phase uh, uh, where it will uh, provision your hardware. This uh, usually takes about three to five minutes. And once your hardware has been provisioned, uh, we, we uh, go ahead and uh, kick off your job on, on the hardware that has been provisioned. Um, once your job has finished, we, we will immediately go ahead and uh, uh, stop your cluster. So I would next uh, like to direct your attention to the top right here. There's two buttons. Uh, uh, one is the sharing button. This allows you to share your job with colleagues. For example, I can share my job with uh, Sarah by uh, entering in her email address here. I can leave a message. And then I can share this job with her. Uh, alternatively, I can also share this job with Rescale support. Uh, and this will uh, 
uh, allow uh, our, our support team to uh, take a look at your job and uh, help you uh, figure out any issues with uh, setting up or running your job. <clears throat> so next I would like to go to a job that is uh, already running. Um, so I've got a job here that's already running. Um, uh, and uh, this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what you can do while the job is running. Uh, first of all, you can uh, take a look at all the files in the cluster. So we have a log file which uh, lists the, out this, the output of the, uh, the uh, EDEM process. And so you can monitor the progression of the job here. If there's any other uh, text files that you want to monitor, uh, you can also see them here. However, most of these files are just uh, binary files, so they're not interesting to monitor. Uh, you can alternatively also download these files. So for example, I can download the DEM file here to my local hard drive by clicking the download button. Lastly, we also allow users to um, SSH into the cluster. And the SSH uh, information is printed out here. Um, to be able to SSH into your cluster, you would have to have SSH set up on your account, which uh, requires you to provide us with a public SSH key. Lastly, I would like to show you how to uh, uh, download a finished job. So once a job is finished, uh, your files uh, will be saved to uh, the Rescale data store and they will be listed in the results section uh, of your job. Uh, in this case, Edom saves out five different files and I can select, for example, the different files that I want to download. And then uh, select the action here to download the files. I can also just uh, download individual files as well, as well as view them in my browser. So, that concludes uh, running uh, uh, running uh, a batch, an Eden batch job on Rescale. Uh, the net, next thing I would like to show is uh, using our desktops feature to uh, run Eden desktops. Uh, I can launch a new desktop by uh, clicking the new desktop button here. I can select one of the configurations available here. I'm just going to uh, launch a uh, regular Windows desktop. And then I can click Submit. Um, so this will go through the same process uh, of hardware provisioning. Uh, since it, this takes a few minutes, uh, I have already uh, launched a desktop here. And as you can see, I've already added Edom as one of my softwares. Um, on, the, on the node access uh, tab here, I can download an RDP file and generate a new password. Uh, but since I'm already logged in, um, I don't have to do this. So uh, this, is, um, this is the, des the desktop uh, that I launched and uh, I'm logged in via RDP. And you can see that Edem is on my desktop here, but I have no jobs on my desktop right now. So what I need to do first is attach a job uh, to my desktop. Um, so I've got a finished job here and I click add and then I sync it to my desktop. So then I can go back to my desktop. You can see now that it has the webinar, the Eden webinar job here in my attached jobs folder. 
So let me just uh, launch Adam real quick. Um, so this is the same uh, uh, interface that uh, uh, Stephen just uh, demoed in his presentation. Um, um, I'm not going to go through all the steps here, but let me just uh, load the uh, file that I just attached to my uh, desktops. Um, so go to attach jobs to my jobs here and then uh, load this transfer shoot. And as you can see, uh, this is the job that, uh, um, that uh, Stephen just showed as well. And so that concludes uh, uh, my demo on how to run EDEM uh, on Rescale, including batch as well as on desktops. Thank you, Melianta. I am going to take the screen back. So we're coming close to the end of the hour here, but I we do have a handful of questions. I'm going to just answer, or we're going to just look at a couple of these, and then we can answer the rest offline. The first question we have here is, um, how long does it take to learn how to use EM? I think, Stephen, you'd probably be the best to answer this. Uh, sure. Um... Typically, I'd say a lot of our users are now looking at our e-learning material. I think there's 90 minutes of videos going through all the different aspects of, um, of EDEM on the, the e-learning side of things. Uh, then the, the interface is very intuitive, so with the tutorials, it, um, it kind of takes a few hours to go through the tutorials and learn the interface. So the, it's relatively straightforward um, learning process for forgetting to, to know how to set up and, and run a, a standard simulation. Okay, thank you. Another question is, are there any benchmarks or validation? I think, Stephen, uh, is there benchmarking? I don't know if you touched on that, if there's any information we, around that. Uh, we have benchmarking data available on our website in the the customer area. I think we the information that we provide is um, kind of relative speed on different processor types, as well as um, the kind of um, performance increase you get going from two to four to six processors, for example. Uh, with regard to validation, um, the the best um, place to look at is uh, the literature database on the DM Solutions um, website. Uh, there's a few hundred. Um, kind of academic institutions using EDEM, and they uh, obviously periodically publish their, their results and validations that um, can be seen on the, through the literature database. Okay, and um, one last question again, I think this is going to you, Stephen, is how many particles can be simulated in EDEM? There's no um, particular upper limit to the number of particles that can be simulated. Um, it is a common question in DEM. Um, the more particles you simulate, the longer your simulation takes. Um, so a typical large simulation would be um, between one to five million spheres in, in the simulation. Um, and there, again, there's some tools that we have available to help you estimate how long a simulation will take with a set number of particles. Okay. Great, thank you, Stephen. We have a handful of other questions. We, Stephen, Moyanto, and I will work to answer these and email the individual um, people who've asked that after the webinar. So just to conclude here, as far as next steps, everyone who attended the webinar will receive $50 in rescale hardware credit, and as well as eight hours of EDEM software credit to begin evaluating on the platform. So you can create an account just off our website, or you can email our sales team to um, indicate that you attended the webinar, you can use this code, Eden Webinar, and start your trial. If you want to schedule a time to speak with us offline and have a one-on-one -on -one session, you can use rescale.com slash booking, or just, again, you can email our sales team to schedule that. We want to thank you again for your time. I want to thank Stephen and Moyanto for joining us. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. Hope you all have a good day.